Hey everybody, Paul Lake here with another physics problem solved. And this one is a fairly straightforward uh, problem on equivalent capacitance. Uh, uh, here's what we've got. We've got a, uh, uh, a bunch of uh, capacitors here, a group of capacitors, and we want to know uh, what is the equivalent capacitance between A and B uh, for this uh, group of capacitors. And... Um, Hey, I got this uh, problem from one of my uh, physics uh, tutoring uh, clients, and I am a private uh, physics tutor, so check in the um, video description below, and there you'll get a, a chance to, or there's a link uh, on how to get a hold of me, so if, you, if you'd like some tutor. My, my rates are, are quite uh, reasonable, and uh, I'm very good at this, so uh, hopefully... Um, That'll help you out. And hey, if you find this video uh, helpful, please give it a, a thumbs up. And uh, if you're a physics student, I suggest you subscribe to the channel. I've got uh, more videos coming. So, uh, and if you leave a, a comment, uh, I'll, if you leave a problem in the comment, I'd, I'd love to work a problem for you and, uh, and publish that as well. So here we go. Uh, let's give it a shot. Um, so let's see, well, this is what's given. Right, this is everything that I need to know. And what we're trying to find is the, um, the equivalent capacitance. And the way we write that is C equivalent. So in other words, I have a whole bunch of capacitors all arranged this way. And I want to know what one capacitor replaces these. Now here's what, what you need to know. Um, you need to know, well, obviously how to find equivalent capacitance, but specifically for capacitors in series and capacitors in parallel. If you've never seen this before, go review it um, and uh, before you try uh, this problem. And, uh, but if, you, if this looks familiar to you, give this problem a shot. Maybe pause the video right now and try it yourself, and then you can compare your solution to mine. All right, let's get started. So when you have a bunch of capacitors, you have uh, uh, like this, and you want the equivalent capacitance, you have to look for capacitors that are in series or in parallel, and then reduce them down to one capacitor. And then I suggest you re take the time, redraw the circuit, and then look for more capacitors that are in series and parallel and keep breaking it down until you end up with only one uh, capacitor. And that is the equivalent capacitance. So I'm looking here. Is anything in parallel? Well, not directly. I don't see anything that, you know, like two or more capacitors that are directly in parallel. Parallel means you have the same voltage drop. And all these capacitors have different voltage drops. So let's look for capacitors in series. And now if they're in series, that means there is one path through the, um, through the capacitors. Now, if I go through this one, well, this is not in series with anything, with any single capacitor anyway, because the, the current uh, as it's filling these capacitors can branch off right here. We have a junction, so some will go this way. So so this isn't. So I, I come over here, same thing. We, anytime you see a, a junction like this, uh, you, you move on. But but here, look at, look at this 24 microfarad, 12 microfarad, 8 microfarad capacitors. Look, there's only one path through these three capacitors. So therefore, these capacitors here are in series. Now, what is the equation for capacitors in series? Well, it's kind of a weird one. The equivalent capacitance for uh, capacitors that are in series, and I'll, I'll label this in series, is, and I like to write it like this, 1 over 1 over C1, plus 1 over C2, plus dot, dot, dot. However many you have, you know, C to the N, you might have N number. In this case, it's 1, 2, 3, so N is 3, so we're going to have three capacitors. You quite often will see it written like this, 
um, which isn't wrong at all. You have 1 over the equivalent capacitor is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus dot, dot, dot. Um, and that's fine, but I like, you know, I, I, used to, <laughs> I used to be a physics teacher before I retired, and, and I, I would have students that would forget to reciprocate because if you add the reciprocals, you get the reciprocal of the equivalent. Uh, capacitance. You don't get the equivalent capacitance. So if just by writing it like this, I'm kind of reminding you, hey, do this and then reciprocate to get your your answer here. So this is pretty straightforward here. I've got these three. Um, see, that's one over, and here we have 24. So that's one over 24 microfarads plus in the C2 here, that's a one over 12 microfarads plus, and we have another one in series, 8 microfarads. Now, um, you can do this uh, by hand or you do it by calculator, however you want to do it. Uh, this one I'm just going to do, because it, look, uh, it, it's pretty easy. This is 1 over 1 I'm going to, oh, 24 microfarads. We can make that a common denominator. Well, 1 12th is the same as 2 24ths. And 1 8th is the same as 3 24ths. So, and so when I do this, I get 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. Reciprocate, I get 24 microfarads divided by 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4 microfarads. So these, what this means is that these three capacitors here can be replaced by one capacitor that has a capacitance of 4 microfarads. And uh, so let's go ahead. Now, I think, especially when you're learning this for the first time, take your time, use lots of paper, and redraw the circuit. Trust me, it'll be easier if you take the time to redraw the circuit. So let's do that. So I got, here's my five microfarad uh, capacitor. And then this branches down here to this four microfarad capacitor. And then here we have the six microfarad capacitor. And I'm dropping the significant. That we're, all right, we'll, we'll round our answer off to two significant figures since these all have two. But now, so this is the same as that. But now, I'll make, have to go out here. I've got one, this four microfarads is going to replace all of these. So I've got a four microfarad. Oh, no, this is also a four microfarad capacitor. So now we start over again. We just do it over. Look, is there anything in series here? No, branching, no, no, nothing's in series yet. But look at these two. Do you see that they are in parallel? Now, what makes them in parallel? It's not the fact that this line and this line are in parallel. What makes things in parallel is that See, everything here is at a certain voltage. And everything down here on this wire is at a, a different voltage. So the, the, the voltage difference between here and here is the same for both capacitors. So if you have circuit elements that have that, where you, you have the same jump in or or, or difference in pot uh, electric potential or, or voltage going from here to here, they're in parallel. Okay, now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna find the equivalent capacitance of those. Now this, since they're in parallel, it's easy. The equivalent capacitance for capacitors that are in parallel, I'll just go ahead and write that up here, is just C1 plus C2 plus dot, 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 plus C to the N. C nth, the nth C. <laughs> okay, now, does this look familiar to you? Doing this and this? 
Yeah, you probably if you're doing capacitors now, you've probably already done equivalent resistors. And the the mathematical form of the equivalent capacitance for um, for uh, capacitors in series is the same as resistors in parallel, the same mathematical form. And for for capacitors in parallel, it's like resistors in series. And it's a real pain in the neck that those things got, you know. But, you know, the universe uh, doesn't often cooperate with what we find to be uh, convenient. So you just have to deal with it. But th in this case, anyway, the equivalent capa uh, capacitance of these two in parallel is just 4 microfarads plus 4 microfarads, which in most countries is 8 microfarads. There you go. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to I'm going to replace these two with an 8 microfarad capacitor and I'm going to redraw the circuit. So here we've got our 5 microfarad capacitor. And now I've got this 8 microfarad capacitor. And then we come back down to the six, six microfarad capacitor. And here's A, and here's B. So I think you can see now what to do. If we go from A to B, notice there's only one path. To get from A to B, there's only one path, which means these capacitors are in series. And this is my final equivalent capacitance. It's equal to 1 over 1 over 5 microfarads plus 1 over 8 microfarads plus 1 over 6 microfarads. Now, this one, I, I don't see any, I mean, it, it's probably pretty easy to find a common denominator there, but... I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to use my calculator here, my trusty solar-powered calculator, and I just go 5 reciprocate plus 8 reciprocate plus 6 reciprocate equals. And then I have to take that and remember to reciprocate that equals, and you get 2.03. Three, three, eight, nine, blah, 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 microfarads. Well, notice that uh, in our, our the problem that's given, everything has two significant figures. So we're going to round our answer off to two significant figures. That's 2.0 microfarads. If you want to leave it as 2.03, you know. I'm not going to track you down, but there, and there we go. And that's how we do. So, so anyway, when you have a complicated circuit where there are, are capacitors in series and capacitors in parallel, just break it down. Look for capacitors that are in parallel. Look for capacitors that are in series. You can tell they're in series if there's only one path through them. You can tell they're in parallel if they have the same voltage drop from one to the other. It doesn't matter what the wires look like. They don't even have to be drawn in parallel. It's just like, do they have the same voltage drop from here down to here? If they do, then they're in parallel. Uh, apply the correct uh, uh, formulas for capacitors in series and capacitors in parallel, and you'll get that answer. Okay. Hey, I uh, hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like the video. If you're a physics student, please subscribe to my channel and share this with others. I'd really greatly appreciate it. Um, so, hey, until the next one, may the net force be with you.